Okay, good, good. Uh, another quick tip, uh, or I guess product review. Um, I was asked by my friend Steve Zara of Zara Dental Lab um, if I could do a review of my heatless flame or my fire-free burner here. Um, and I shot a little video of it, but I thought I'd do a little more in-depth review of it. Uh, so um, check out his, uh, I'll put his link below in the description. Uh, he does some great ortho uh, videos. So I did a real quick setup here, put a piece of paper down because my table is dirty. I just, this is the end of the day for me. So, so this is a best qual, I guess that means best quality, S600 fire free burner. And what it is, is a um, fire, fireless instrument warmer. So, of course this uses regular 120 volt. Uh, this is from Meta Dental Corp. I'll try to put a link to this or where you can buy it uh, in the description below. But serial number B8B3H110. Alright. Uh, it has a sensitivity uh, gay pot uh, thing here that you can. Uh, just to adjust the sensitivity of the motion sensor which are here and here right so it senses when something enters in enters into this chamber and it turns on the uh, induction system and, and layman's term of induction think of it like um, radio waves that only affect metal so you can stick this in here and it'll get hot but you can stick anything that's not metal and it doesn't harm you like I, I get no heat at all in here uh, so let me show you just a quick demonstration of how this works um, I have some Pontix here that I need to wax into place so I've already ground them ground the shape in and now I just need to um, put my wax on so a little utility wax there I hold this into place and I don't know if you can see this light down here. Of course, this thing is just dirty. It's all get out. But see that light? It's green. Then it turns red. You can barely see it. So when it turns red, that means it's active. See how that thing's already heating up? And I'm getting smoke off of the... Let me... Now you can see the light a little bit better. See how hot that's getting? So now, your instrument is warm. Anything. Now the trick is just keep sticking it in here for one or two seconds to keep that warmth going or else it's going to cool on you too fast. That's one of the um, complaints about it. Woo! Zoom, baby. Alright. There we go. So there, I'm happy with that. Let's attach the other one now. I usually try to find a tooth that will span that whole gap, but sometimes the gap is just too wide for a natural looking tooth, so we'll just have to fill it in with some acrylic. So I'm ready to tack that down with some sticky wax. So again, we'll do the same thing. I'll put my finger here. I don't know if that's what that's for, but the sensors are there. So I like to, if you keep it moving, that red light will stay on. See how it it senses that thing going in there. Here, let me turn off the light real quick. There you go, you see the green light now. There we go. See, I'm just kind of going back. It kind of like you would do with a Bunsen burner. Just go back, keep your, keep your instrument at a constant temperature the whole time. All right, I think that is ready to go. Cool. Um, how much faster this is compared to that, which is the con of this. There's a lot of pros to this, but a con is I feel like it takes a little while to um, heat the instrument as opposed to just straight fire. Uh, the other con is sometimes it's hard to get the your sensor right, and you got to get this in a spot you're comfortable with where you go to the same spot every time to turn that on. 
someone who just gets this it takes a little while to adjust the sensitivity knob in the back um, but like I said I, I need to let that cool so in the meantime I'm gonna talk a little bit about maintenance um, hey thanks for watching my video on my instrument warmer my best qual s600 instrument warmer for those patreon members and paid subscribers to my website check out uh, your feeds there and I have uh, posted a video a 19 minute video where I go over maintenance and tips and tricks with this instrument warmer uh, also include a few other tips and tricks that I came up with as I was filming it so be sure and check that out um, for the rest of y'all I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helped you if you have a question be sure and leave it in the comments below if uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up uh, and be sure and subscribe and that way when I come out with more of these, uh, you'll be sure and get notified. So anyway, until then, happy bending. <laughs>